Hi, I'm Anisha and I've got a get a feature for you to check out. So if you've been following along the changelog post, you've seen all of the amazing new features that we've shipped recently. But for these videos, we'll be hearing more from the folks that have actually built these features and see a demo of them too. So for today's video, we'll be hearing more from Nika, who will be telling us more about the GitHub Classroom Starter Course. Nika, over to you. Hi everyone, my name is Nika. I'm an engineer on GitHub Classroom. So if you're not familiar with GitHub Classroom, it's a platform for teachers where they can set up student assignments. These assignments eventually create repositories on GitHub where students do their work in completing their assignments. We've been hearing from our teachers that students are not familiar with Git or GitHub. So teachers need to make extra time and effort to teach them what Git and GitHub is and how they work together. All of this becomes a barrier to entry to some teachers, so we see some drop-offs in this workflow. As for teachers who have successfully taught Git and GitHub to their students, this becomes a repeated task that they have to teach for every new semester. So basically, these are the two main things that we're trying to solve with the GitHub Starter Course project. We want to help teachers save time in teaching how Git and GitHub works and allow them to reuse the Starter Course every semester. So if you sign up, on GitHub Classroom, this is the first page that you'll see. So we'll just go ahead and create our classroom. Uh, this page shows all of the organizations that you have access to. If you want to create a new organization, you have that option here. Uh, but for this demo, I'm just gonna select this existing organization and create my classroom there. This page allows you to invite your TAs and admins, uh, but I'll skip this for now. This page um, allows you to connect to an LMS system if you have one or create your rosters by uploading a file. For this demo, I'll skip this for now. This is the page where we create assignments. We see that there's a new beta feature here, which is our starter course for Git and GitHub. We can preview the assignment. And if we click on the use starter assignment button, click on this button so we can import the starter course in our organization, give it a name, if you want to add a deadline to this assignment, you can do that too. Um, change the visibility to public or private. Um, I'll just keep it public for now. We can create that assignment. And this is the existing flow for teachers. Um, we have, they give out these assignment links to their students. I go to that page and accept the assignment. And now that I have my assignment repository in GitHub, it gives me an overview of what Git and GitHub is about. I have the core features that I need to understand in GitHub, such as repositories, pull requests, issues, user profiles, and such. It also gives me an idea of how I can engage with the GitHub community and understand the GitHub flow with branching, cloning, and forking. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Great. Thanks a lot, Nicholas. I've got a couple of questions for you then. Is it possible for teachers to go ahead and add or modify the starter course content? Yes, definitely. Um, when we create the assignment with the starter course, we make a copy of the original template in their organization. So we're going to see this original um, starter course in the awesome classroom organization that we selected earlier. So this way, teachers can modify the contents and um, reuse it later in their classes. Perfect. So what are the next steps for this feature then? Yeah, for sure. Um, so we recently launched our public beta. Uh, we've been receiving great feedback on this feature. And mostly people are mentioning that they want to make this course more interactive, like, you know, interacting with issues, creating pull requests, um, and seeing how the commit history works. I feel like this allows teachers, oh, I'm sorry, this allows students to learn hands-on on how GitHub works. So we've added all these great feedback in our roadmap. Uh, we're planning to build on top of this work and bring in more reusability of classrooms and assignments to help teachers speed up their workflow. Thanks a lot, Nika. Folks, go ahead and check out this new feature and let us know what you think about it, as well as any other feature that we've shipped recently as well. You can go ahead and hit us up on Twitter or leave your comments down below as well. So stay tuned for more checkout videos coming your way very soon.